series of stay home and stay safe. Today, we are going to discuss the poem of Kamala Das, My Mother at 66. Before starting the poem, I just want to discuss some of the points related to the life of Kamala Das. First, I want to tell she was born on 31st March 1934. The birthplace of Kamala Das was Puneyurkunum, Trishur, Kerala. And because her father was employed in Calcutta, that's why most of her childhood was passed between these two places. One was Calcutta and second was her ancestral home, Punayurkulam. Mostly a child is influenced by the family members and the family members that influence most to the personality of Kamala Das were her uncle and her mother. Her uncle was Nalpat Narayan Menon and her mother was Nalpat Balmani Amma. These were related to riding field and this was the cause that influenced the entire personality of Kamala Das and at early age she took to riding. Later on after her marriage she was also supported by her husband also. Let us think about the title of the poem. Look at this, My Mother. This shows that the poetess is sharing her own views about her own life. This shows that the title is given in first person. So we can say this is a subjective kind of poetry. What is subjective poetry? Subjective poetry is that kind of poetry in which a poet or poetess shares his or her own experiences. Later we will discuss about so many times this poem has been repeated in CBSC board class 12th exam paper. Suppose that this part from starting to this this was given CBSC A1 2013. This part from this place to this place, this was given CBSC F 2010 and CBSC Delhi 2011. So this poem is very important. Later on the poetess discuss about the main point of the poem and that is aging. Aging is a natural process. Everything, every person which is born in this surface of the earth is advancing towards death. And a poetess is thinking about her own mother. Once he was coming from her parents' house, to the airport Cochin in a car and this was the incident belong to the day it was Friday and the period of morning it was. Her mother was also sitting beside her and her mother was dozing. Dozing is what? Somewhat slight. Sleep, we can see. Her mouth was open and her face is compared to ashen light. Look at this word. Ashen is white or brown color in itself and this shows the figure of his speech that is used here is singing. Ashen like that. Her face, one thing, a cross is another thing and both things are compared with 
using of the word like. So it is the example of similar. And then after seeing her mother's face to be white in color, ashen like whiteness like that of a corpse, she was filled with too much pain. And another thing is as old as she. This also is the example of simile. She was very old and she looked also very old. But soon put their thoughts away. What was the thought? Main thought was that her mother was growing more and more old. She was advancing towards death. This thought was giving a lot of pain to the poetess, but that thought that was put away by the poetess. Again, for diverting her attention, she looked out of the window of the car and another direction she saw trees. Because the car was running, so the trees were also seemed to her to be spreading. Spreading means also running. Many places that were crossed by her car and she saw many scenes related to children and they were shown as men. Mary means happy children. Coming out, spelling out means coming out from their home. They saw that they were full of energy. So from negativity of mind, she turned her attention towards the positivity. When she arrived at airport, she passed through the security check and then she was standing a few yards away from her own mother. Again she looked at her and her face is described as man and pain. Both the means are equivalent. Man means is also bloodless and pale means also yellowish. So we can say the same idea is repeated in different words. So it is the figure of a speech known as tautology. What is a tautology? When the same idea is repeated in different words. Again that phase is compared to late to winter's moon and the using word is as. So it is also example of shimmy. Okay? So after that the poetess felt the same pain in her heart. This was the childhood fear that she was thinking her mother was growing old and one day she will die. At last, she turned her attention and the words that last came out from her mouth, see you soon, Amma. I'll meet you after very soon, oh Amma. And this she did. And at last the three words, a smile, and a smile and a smile. These three words came. This is the example of a repetition that shows a strongly positive idea that was giving energy to her own mother. Thank you very much.